Hey everybody, Mike Brailswood of Brailswood Works. Thank you for joining me back in my shop. I appreciate it. So I do a lot of many different things when it comes to turning. I do a lot of bowls, sure, but I do, uh, I do segmented turning. I do hollow forms. I do bowls. I do, uh, I do more artistic turning. Um, it's basically whatever the, uh, the way my fancy takes me, you know, I do build, I also build furniture and it's not just turning. I build furniture. I do cutting boards and, uh, in all of this, I'm trying to make this business self-sufficient, which would be the goal of any business and, uh, eventually turning profit in that I do attend craft sales, uh, around the state. And, um, and one of the things I've learned, it's been a hard lesson. You can have a lot of your high end items, and you have to have just the right customer to make those things move. And in the meantime, you also have expenses that you have to cover. And you got to do something to cover those expenses. You got to have something that's going to bring people in and look at your other stuff. So one of the things I'm doing today is I'm making production salad bowls. These are no frills. I've cut down uh, uh, sweet gum. I have a ton of that in my property. And I have them cut into bowl blanks. And what I'm going to do is I'm first, I'm, go I'm going to keep these as lean as I possibly can. Absolutely no frills. I've got to keep these to a total of 15 minutes or less total per bowl in order to make my scheme here a success. And by that, I mean, I want to charge $20 or less for each one of these salad bowls. And in that, there can be, I can't do a lot of sanding, so I've got to make sure my tools are sharp. Um, I, I've got to be able to put on one coat of finish and then move on. So uh, I've got to do these all in stages. So I've got a total of about 40 sweet gum bowl blanks or various sizes. And so the first thing I'm going to do, and I've, I've, I've got some of these part way done in different stages, is I'm going to draw up the uh, max size bowl that I can get out of each bowl blank and then set it aside. I'm, I'm going to get them all marked and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them to my bandsaw. I'm going to get them all rough cut into a gentle round shape and after I do that then I will do the uh, I'll, I'll rough out all of the bottoms of the bowls and uh, after I finish that, then I'll go in and, and I'll hollow them all out. And then these, these are all still fairly wet, so I'll throw them in my solar kiln, let them dry for a couple weeks, and then I'll bring them back and finish them. But today, the main thing I'm going to show you is getting them prepared, getting the blanks prepared, and getting them into the rough cut state. So here we go. So on these bowl blanks, I'm finding the center of them. Then I have my circle jig that I've, my homemade circle jig, and I will draw out a circle on each one of them. And I put it aside, move right to the next one. And by the way, for anyone who's been wondering, here's Freya. Thank you, sweetheart. She's getting big fast. When I first got her, she was about an inch and a half shorter than my beagle. Now she's uh, about six inches taller, and we've had her since, oh, the 15th of November. And uh, she's getting big fast. So that was just an update for all who are interested. All right, so I've got all of my blanks marked up. So the next step is to get them rough cut on my bandsaw. 
It'll make it easier when I once I get it over the lathe. So here we go. Okay, so so far I've got about, probably about a minute, minute and a half onto each one, maybe less, and I wanna keep it down as much as possible. I don't have to nitpick that much, but again, I wanna keep these down about 15 minutes per bowl tops. And the idea is to get the rough shape and move on to the next one. So I'm gonna mount my face plate, I'm gonna mount it to the lathe, and then I'm gonna do show you this one in real time before I move on to the rest. Take it over to the lathe. So I'm gonna mount this up and show you me turning it in real time. Thankfully, sweet gum is fairly soft and it goes very fast. Now when I finish all these, I'm gonna have a mountain of chips that I'm gonna deal with. That's that.
Okay, folks, so this is what I've got for today. There and over here. There's only one bowl blank I didn't do, and that's because the spalting and everything on it, I think I want to do something a little more special with that one. But I've ended up with uh, 30 bowl blanks, so uh, it meant that I had to discard about a quarter uh, out of the 40 that I originally started with. Um, they were just too punky. But these have, uh, they've only taken me a couple hours tonight to do all this. And uh, that is the result around my lathe. Okay, I've got them turned around. Now I'm gonna hollow the bowls out and I gotta do it as fast as possible. Got 411 on here and uh, let's see, let's see how long it takes me to hollow this out. And again, I'm gonna leave it wide enough so that it can dry. I'll put it out in my solar kiln and then I'll bring it back in a couple weeks and finish them off. do it and it took me three minutes Okay, so I've got them all hollowed out. They're ready to be, have anchor seal applied to them and then stuck out into my kiln. And uh, so I've had a few, I had four that the tenons broke on that I'll have to go back and, and uh, do something with those. But, you know, I've got uh, more than uh about 25 bowls here and let's see i started at f 11 minutes after four i've been working on it for about an hour and 20 minutes um 
So, you know, the whole idea here is to keep it, uh, keep your time down as much as possible. Honestly, this is what I'm, this is going to be my career after I retire. So this has got to be more than just self-sustaining. I need want to turn a profit here. Um, so, uh, you know, this doesn't take from my joy of turning, uh, I, cause I don't do this very often. I do it enough to have some stock for uh some of my shows and it, you know this should last hopeful you know i'd love for it to sell in one show but um you know uh you know it'll be it might be just enough to pay for the the booth and for the registration you know that way you at least come out of the show you know breaking even so once these all dry enough uh for me to finish them i bring them back in uh, I want to have my 3 8 bowl gouge nice and sharp because it is going to, I want it to be two passes, one on the outside, one on the inside, and sanding to 150 grit. It's going to be quick, and then a, an oil finish on all of them, and that'll be it, and then they'll be done. So, all right, thank you all for watching. There'll be a follow-up video to this when I get to the finishing stage. So thank you all for watching. Please stay safe. Bye-bye.